Well, guys, it is Monday, and you know what that means. Uh, what does that mean exactly? Oh, we're doing a food feeder mailbag, and I'm going to talk about uh, your comments and then, you know, say words about them. We have comments on this show? What's up, guys? I am Noah Galutin, which is a much easier name to pronounce than some of your screen names. But not all of them. Some of them are really easy to pronounce. On today's show, we're going to respond to all the comments from our recent episodes. Well, not all of them, because that would be way too many, and you don't want to watch a 45-minute comment show. I've been told that we're not going to respond to any of the incoherent or bigoted comments that were left. Um, does that... do we have any other comments? Oh, yeah, we got like four or five. Let's get going. Under a recent What's Gonna Kill You This Week, words, phrases, numbers said that you should basically never eat raw meat in Detroit. So we agree on that point. Other things you should never do in Detroit? Uh, fly a kite, own things of value, and live. Now I feel bad talking a bunch of trash about Detroit, but I'm pretty sure they still don't have the internet. When we told you about the 30 Rock flavored ice cream from Ben & Jerry's, we also mentioned a few other ice cream flavors that they might have rejected based on TV shows. Turns out that those may, or may, have been made up. It sounds like Chris Snowpeck's favorite rejected ice cream flavor was the Rainbow Sorbet McNasty because he was a big fan of the show Shasta McNasty. Chris, uh, because you said that you only liked that show because you were sleep deprived, it kind of makes me think you only like this show because you're sleep deprived. Well, if I'm right about that, let me just say that you should probably just stop sleeping completely and use your free time to do things like click here and watch a bunch of food feeder episodes. My friend's mom loves it. I, I think it's this show. It might be uh, Why Would You Eat That? But it, I'm pretty sure it's this show. Cyborg Ninja 7 and Profit Channel seem to think that we had some kind of a weird stealth marketing deal with Taco Bell. While I would love to be getting paid under the table with that sweet, sweet Taco Bell money, fact is, we don't get paid any of that. And uh, we just try to make this show and talk about things that we think you guys are gonna like. So shame on us. And on a totally unrelated note, starting next week, the new name of our show is Taco Bell Presents The Food Feeder. Now with 300% more crunch. 70% more chance you're gonna get diarrhea when you watch. Also under the Taco Bell Doritos video, 001 Rivera said that he or she is Mexican and that whatever they do at Taco Bell has nothing to do with the original taco. Thanks for sharing, 001 Rivera. And just so you know, Indiana Jones and the original taco is one of my top five favorite Indiana Jones movies. I am not at all Mexican, but I also think that Taco Bell tacos have nothing to do with real tacos. And really, when we say things like the word taco, and we're talking about something from Taco Bell, it's really just a time saver, like when we refer to McDonald's as food. Well, that's it for this week, but keep leaving comments, and there's a uh, minute chance that uh, we'll talk about on next week's show, and you'll be immortalized and live forever in a YouTube video. Sure, it's a totally useless distinction, but, you know, you gotta have a few of those in your life, right? I'm Noah Galutin. Subscribe to Taste It and get brand new videos of the Food Feeder Monday Mailbag right here, presented by Taco Bell and Doritos and your drunk stepdad. <laughs>